show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am that British guy. Now normally I would be doing one pound wonders at this time of the month, but unfortunately that is not going to happen because of this. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome to one pound wonders. Let's see whether this is a wonder or a blunder. Okay, here we are in the main menu about to begin. I will start the 30 minutes now and let's begin the game. One player, obviously. Story mode, because there, eh, it's Sonic, it's not going to be that difficult. Kidding. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to kind of go out and get myself another one pound game. So instead of just having no video at all, I thought I would just kind of go through my collection of old SNES games and see which one I hadn't played for a very long time. So let's have a go at this. Right, it has been a very, very long time since I played this game. Um, in fact, I ended up either selling the game or losing it. And had it given back. Oh, okay. What? Oh, because I've got no bananas. And he's all sad. Okay, right. Whatever that leads to. So yes, it's been a... A long time since I played this. So we'll see how bad I am. So I've not really. Oh no, I think that was an extra life. I haven't really played many platform games either, so this could be a very interesting one. Ooh, one ostrich. I'm presuming you can collect them. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, okay. Secret thing. Hey, nice little extra life. That was nice and easy. Oh, there's nothing up there that's very interesting. That's a shame. Dying. Oh, well that was a pretty straightforward first level. That makes sense though from a game design perspective. It gives you a little bit of time to learn some of the basic mechanics before kind of going out into a much more difficult level. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on Diddy, you can do it. No. Hey, <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Oh. Got to me a rhino. So what happens with that ostrich that I collected? Anything? Obviously not, unless there were others to collect. Whoop. the G. How many of those things are there? I don't like them. Gotcha. Over the wasp. Over the wasp. Over the wasps. Oh, where's the... Ah, oh, there it is. Ah! Damn it. Oh. Whoa. The hell?
think that one. Yeah, nice. Okay, I don't remember that bit, but cool. Random as hell. Oh no! Is the barrel still there? No. Oh, I can jump up there anyway. Oh, that's lucky. I don't know if that process my extra life or not. Might have missed out on an extra life there. Cranky's Cavern! Last time I saw you were wearing diapers. Well, that's... Yeah, it's not got to do with anything. Games never looked like this when I was a lad. Games never looked like they looked like this when I was a lad because this existed. Okay, what is the point of this? Bet you thought this was 64 bit, eh, boy? Okay, let's go a bit meta. Got more gameplay in my little finger than you've got in this whole game. What is this? All graphics and no gameplay. What are they having a dig at here? 32 meg. That would be more than 30 games in my day, and they'd be great games too. Go bananas in the snake pit of the reptile rumble. What the hell is any of this? Steel ring barrels break only when they hit a wall. Okay, so this is kind of tips and tricks, but in a really weird roundabout way. I've got to go now. I'll see you guys later if you're lucky. What a random addition to a game. So it's kind of giving me a couple of pointers, but in a really odd way. Gotcha. Oh, no, nearly. Oh. <clears throat> but doing. Oh, there's a thing there. Where's this taking me? Ah, getting dizzy, getting dizzy, getting dizzy. Oh, okay, loads of bananas. Thanks. It's cool, I guess. Nice, more bananas. Lovely. Like it, like it. One snake gone. Oh, nice. Got a bonus area. loads of bananas. I'm not quite sure how you go in there and you go that way and then you come out but okay whatever. I'm trying to add some logic into the game and failing. Ah oh, no. Come back here. Come back here. No. Yes. I don't know what any of those do. Another life. Oh yeah. Collecting them Kongs like there's no tomorrow. 
Coral Capos. Of course there's a swimmy level. Go for it. Yeah. Find the fish. Come on, God, keep up my Kong record. All of the Kongs. Ooh, they bananas. No, just one. That was pointless. Ah! What's that pointing me to? Ooh, a swordfish. Always fun. But doing. Ah, uh, look at his happy smiley face. Oh, where's it gone? The extra life disappeared. I thought it was going to carry on floating up and it didn't. That's rude, man. Show me a fish. No. Hit the fish, hit the fish. Oh, I can do that. That was doing it automatically. It, I can do it myself if I want to. It's quite smooth considering I haven't got an analog stick. It does play fairly nicely. Oh, there's another one. Oh, can't Diddy Kong have one as well? We get two swordfish things. <laughs> Death to the shark. You got swordfish spiked, son. Gotcha. One more letter. Kind of finned that one. Oh, missed. Never mind. Ah! Don't you fire them at me. Gee! Yeah! Get in there with the Kong. 100% Kong record so far. Racking up all the extra lives. Funky's Flights. Just another weird tutorial thing. Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong. My bodacious jumble barrow can launch you to any point, something, something. Most unfortunately, it can only send you to a place you've already been to, which is a complete and total bummer, let me tell you. Oh, okay, fair enough. So you can jump from worlds quickly, I guess, with that, if you want to go back a load. Whoa! Okay. Wow, this is an easy way of completing this level. Ooh. Oh, they're... They're for the worlds, are they? Oh, I was going to fall down a hole then. Oh, I see. What? Oh, nearly. So if it's got an X on it, or not an X, a kind of star, no, that kind of uh, explosion symbol, it fires you straight away, whereas if it doesn't have one, you get to pick when you get fired, as far as I can work out. missing ah there we go I was just about to say hang on I'm missing a G yeah another Kong 100% Kong rate right what is this thing 
Candy save point. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Hi, I'm Candy Kong, and this is my save point. If you want to save your current game, jump into my spinning save barrel. Okay, I will. 9%. Boom! Save. That was nice and quick. Very naughty's lair. Okay. Any weapons? No weapons. Not doing anything? Wah! Now he's getting quicker. I think he's getting annoyed the more I jump on his head. Yeah. Wow, that was a stupidly easy boss. How anticlimactic. Oh, that's the whole world done. Oh, cool. How does it tell you who you completed the things with? Or does that... Oh, no, it's just because I'm now controlling. Oh no, it does as well, yeah, because that one's Diddy Kong. And then Donkey Kong completed that level. And that level. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it actually keeps track of who completed the levels for you. Well, I'm going to quickly save again now that I've beaten that boss so that I don't have to do it again. In we go to the save point. Oh, and there we go. Uh, how do I get out of the world? Nope. No, nope, I'm pressing buttons and it's just keeping taking me in. Maybe this guy can take take me somewhere. Can you get me in? Yeah, there we go. Monkey mines. Cool. Okay. Well. We won't do that uh, level just now, so we've done that. Um, we've done that world. So there we go. We've done the first world of Donkey Kong Country on the SNES. A lovely gem of a game from 1994. A nice little slice of my childhood. If you want to see more from this game in the future, please let me know in the comments below. I will probably be kind of dipping into it as and when the year progresses. But if you've got a hankering to see it a little sooner, please let me know and I will do my best to have a little bit more of a playthrough in the coming weeks and months. Needless to say as well, One Pound Wonders will be making a return next month. I've got plenty of time now to get my hand on a couple of other games just in case we have a few more technical difficulties like we had before. But until next time, I've been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.